Yes guys, what's going on? Phil Dyer here with Chapman Guitars and I'm here today to talk about the lovely ML3 beer. So this is the ML3 beer in black smoke. If you don't know who a beer is, you need to get on YouTube and check him out now because he sounds like this. So you might be thinking looking at that guitar, this is a metal guitar. The guy playing the guitar is playing progressive metal, amazing ambient chords, crazy leads. But I wanted to see what we could do with this guitar. What else can this guitar do? Having a quick look at it, this guitar is also perfect for playing neo soul, pop gigs, anything you want from it. It's probably one of the most versatile guitars in the Chapman range when you look at the feature set. So let's have a minute to look at the specs of this guitar. It's got an angle heritage headstock, open gear hip shot tuners. It has a graph tech tusk nut, an ebony fretboard a pale inlay at the 12th fret, and moon lay side dots, which means that you can see them in the dark. The neck is made from Paduch. The body is made of alder, and it's also got a flame maple top, which you can see is dyed black in this case for the black smoke finish. It's also got reveal binding, which means that you can see how thick the cap is around the side of the guitar. Another couple of features to mention are the Chapman Henchman humbucker pickups that are in this guitar. So it has a bridge henchman humbucker and a mini henchman in the neck. The idea here is these are the highest output pickups that Chapman do, so it can really give you that articulation when you're digging in for that really heavy riffing. Hardware wise, this is a Wilkinson two point trim, which means you can either do subtle vibrato or full dive bombs, and it will always come back in tune. Finally, the last thing to talk about the five way blade, the tone pot, and the master volume. So the five way blade that we've got here is able to swap between bridge, a coil split, both of the humbuckers, a coil split in the neck and the full neck humbucker. So the range of sounds that you can get out this guitar is absolutely incredible considering that it's only got two pickups. I'm going to run through some of the sounds that I used in the video so you can hear what I did to achieve those really clean, pristine sounds.
Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video on the ML3 beer.